coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Disclaimer! This video is going to be a little bit ranty because if you guys have been following me for years, you know that this is a situation. So let me tell you guys a little bit about what this video is going to be, why I decided to make this video, and maybe, just maybe, there will be some of you guys that are on the same boat as me and can totally relate and this video will be super useful. What is this? Like, I'm a little aggressive today. And then for some of you, you're going to be like, well, this video is totally not even relevant to my life. So you guys are going to decide. So this video is a video that I decided to make because it took me years to fall in love with my hair, to figure out what my hair needed, and to kind of accept the way my hair is. Do I still love it? No. Do I still struggle with it every day? Yes. And do I know how to fix the solution to my problems but refuse to? Absolutely. <laughs> so. If you guys are on the same boat as me, you are the type of people that have very, very, very thin hair, a very oily crown, and suffer from breakage. It's not straight. It's kind of wavy. Sometimes it's curly. Your hair basically tries to betray and sabotage your life. That's the, the way that I can describe my hair. Now, to give you guys a little bit of history, my hair has always been very thin, but I have a lot of it. Had, clarification, had. I had a lot of it, but it was very thin. And growing up, my hair was curly. I mean, big, giant, spiral curls, right? So, as I got older, um, I didn't like it because I didn't know how to style it. You guys know at that age when you're like 12 or 13 and you're trying to look pretty but you really don't know how. And so I really didn't know how to wear it naturally. I didn't know what products to use to enhance it. My mom was never very familiar with beauty products that aren't just colorful cosmetics. <laughs> so when it came to hair, my mom has always been one of those that like abuses her hair every day with the blow dryer because she has curly hair. So I just never knew who to go to, what to do, where to start, or anything. So my hair was slick back in a pony all the time. Then I discovered the flat iron and screwed the heck out of my hair. I mean, I would flat iron it like half wet. I wouldn't blow dry it first. It was horrendous, like what I would do to my hair. The thought of it now, I like cringe. Then, because of all that heat damage and like abuse to my hair, I lost my curl pattern. And then I decided to go off, get married, and have two kids, and the things they don't tell you once you become pregnant and have a child. These kids will change your life and make you the happiest person in the world, but they take everything out of you. They change your skin type. They change your hair type. They give you cavities. I mean, they take all your calcium. Your back hurts. There's a lot of stuff that comes along with becoming a mother, and my hair was sadly one of them. So not only did I always have thin hair, uh, now I have thin and very little hair. I had a lot of postpartum hair loss. It slowly came back, but not to the way it was. So I would say I recovered maybe 50% of what I lost. And basically it's just, that's Ernesta trying to make an appearance. Seriously? We're talking about hair here. You have nice hair. Nobody wants to know about your nice hair. This is a video for people that don't have nice hair. So get out of here with your beautiful freckle hair, okay? <laughs> so, um, I mean, I recovered like half of what I lost and that's still not enough. Um, and then of course with dyeing and heat tools and doing this and doing that and I just cut it all off. Recently it was like probably down to here and then I was like, life changes. Whoosh, Cut it off, my friend. So, the reason for this video is because I am one of the people that's on that boat that has very greasy hair, very thin hair, very little hair, and I'm not one of those YouTubers that takes her hair out of a bun and says, oh, this is seven day hair. Girl, please, I could barely put a clip in it for 30 seconds. It gets greasy and gets a crimp in it. So, if you are like me, 
and you have to wash your hair very often. If you are like me and your hair is very thin, if you are like me and you are limited with the type of products you can use, I am here with an encyclopedia of products that have successfully worked for me. I do want to add a disclaimer though. I understand that the more I wash my hair, the oiler it's going to get. Oilier it's going to get. I understand that it's a process. I understand that I could be doing the reverse wash instead. Excuse me. I understand that I could be doing, you know, the reverse wash where I do the um, conditioner first and then the shampoo, or I could just do the no poo system where I just wash my hair with conditioner. That is not a style that I like. That's not something that I like to do. That's something that I've tried and it's a process that's really difficult for people like me to start doing or it's a really bad habit for people like me to break the washing the hair every day thing. I was actually talking to one of the lead stylists for L'Oreal and he has a really really big salon in uh, Florida and he says that of all the people that are like me that need to stop washing their hair like maybe 5% of them are successful at converting themselves into the type of people that don't wash their hair as often or only wash their hair with conditioner. So it's a very hard process, right? So anyway, welcome to Coffee Break with Danny, the world of long introductions. If you think that this video is gonna be something that you can benefit from, please stay along. If this is a video that you might not learn anything from, please join us because I'll promise it'll be entertaining. <laughs> I do wanna disclose though, this video is in partnership with Briogeo, but because I have already mentioned Briogeo products before and the owner is actually a really great friend of mine, I thought it would be the perfect fit for this type of video and for sharing a product <sighs> that I've recently fallen in love with. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first product is a product that I have been using every day because I wash my hair every day and I also either blow dry it or curl it. Today I did a 32 millimeter barrel. And so uh, not too long ago, someone left me a comment and said, hey Danny, you've been complaining about dry hair even though you just cut all of it off. Could it be that you're not doing preventative measures and that just kind of like stuck with me because when my hair was long I would do a um, heat protectant but I was never happy with them because they're all really watery and I feel like the success that I've had with keeping my hair from getting damaged is that I blow dry it when it's not even wet anymore you know so you don't want to really blow dry it too long if you don't have to and so when I would spray the heat protectant, it would just wet my hair all over again. So I just stopped using heat protectant altogether. When this product came into my life, this is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protectant Cream. This product, not only does it smell amazing, but it protects your hair up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit from heat. Not only is it a six free product, which means it doesn't have parabens, it doesn't have sulfates, it doesn't have any harmful chemicals for the hair. It's also a brand, Briogeo is a brand, and this is how I discovered them. Briogeo is a plant-based brand, so it's a healthier brand and it's also cruelty free. So I discovered them like two or three years ago when I was trying to regain my curl pattern and the Curl Charisma product is amazing. I also use the um, Be Gentle, Be Kind. It's a clarifying shampoo. That, by the way, I ran out of and I need to repurchase. Um, but this blow dry cream, I thought, well, what am I gonna do with the blow dry cream? Because I don't always blow dry my hair. Sometimes I curl it. But it's basically a heat protection system. It's a, it's like a really lush, creamy, white, like almost like moisturizer. When I first received the product, I was like, oh no, this is gonna weigh my hair down, it's gonna make it greasy, it's going to like coat the strands of my hair and make it waxy. <gasps> you guys, it's like silky smooth, but it actually gets absorbed into the hair shaft, so you don't feel like there's anything on there. And if you guys have three hairs like me, that's really important. So the reason that this product is awesome, besides the fact that it protects up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, is that it also has oils that nourish the hair. So the reason it's called Rosarco is because it has rosehip oil, argan oil, and coconut oil. So Rosarco, does that make sense? 
See? See what I did there? Well, I didn't do it. They did it. <laughs> so it's healthy for the hair. It's healthy for the animals because it's cruelty free. It protects your hair. And you know, one thing that I noticed, which I think is really bizarre, I feel like it extends my hairstyle. So there were times where I would do like, you know, my little messy waves or I would blow dry my hair like wanna be Posh Spice. Um, and then a few hours later, it was like, boop, humidity, or it would fall flat, or it wouldn't hold, or whatever. Like, it would look different. From start to finish, it would change. After I started to use this, I noticed that when I wake up the next morning, even though my crown is hella crazy, crazy greasy, the rest of my hair looks the same. So I was like, hey, you actually protect my style. So maybe if you guys are on the boat where you don't have greasy hair like I do, this might be a product that extends your style, protects your hair, and might be able to carry your look for a few days without having to wash it. Although I don't know how you guys do it. High five if you do. Anyway, if you guys are interested in purchasing this uh, heat protectant cream, I will have a discount code listed in the description box below. I believe it's for 15% off. So it's definitely worth the try if you guys are kind of on the boat you know, like the wah, wah, my hair sucks boat. But another good thing about Briogeo is that it's a brand that's good for the thinnest, thin, weakest, tiniest little baby hair like mine to the thickest, most luscious, most textured hair out there. Uh, trust me, the owner of Briogeo has the most beautiful, thick, textured hair ever, and she uses all her products, and her hair always looks fly as heck. Just saying. So let's move on to what's in the shower when you have three hairs like me. The shampoo that has saved me since I cut off all my hair is from a brand called Grow Gorgeous and this is a hair density shampoo. Seriously, if you guys told me to put, you know, to stand on my head for three minutes a day and to eat 37 green grapes and to, I don't know, go outside at exactly 713 every day to get thicker hair, I would do it. But sadly, that's not how it works. So if I can use a shampoo that's going to make my hair a little bit more voluminous and help me out, then why not? So the Grow Gorgeous is a line that I actually discovered walking around Ulta, and it's been, it's been amazing. I, I have to repurchase it now, but it's an amazing shampoo for two hairs like me. The other shampoo that I really like, and I'm surprised I was able to use it, is from Shea Moisture. Now, Shea Moisture is a line that's really, really heavy in nourishing oils. It's also a healthier brand. You can find it at like Target's, Ulta's. It's more affordable. Um, but I was looking for a new clarifying shampoo because I like the feeling of clean. And after using, you know, products and texturizing sprays and things like that to give myself the appearance of more hair, I slowly build a product into the shafts of my hair. So when I saw that Shea Moisture had a new clarifying shampoo that was loaded with nourishing oils, I was like, wait a minute, that's kind of an oxymoron. How do you have a lot of oils to nourish, but you're also clarifying, which means it like gently cleans or almost strips your hair? <sighs> Three Hair Club, you guys need this clarifying shampoo. It makes your hair feel soft and healthy, but like ee, 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 clean. I'll use this one like maybe once a week, maybe, sometimes twice. Okay, I'm kidding, twice a week. <laughs> then when your hair is feeling just a little bit dry and you need just a little bit of pick me up, and I mean a little bit, you guys know I'm a fan of the It's a 10 hair mask. The mask is amazing. If you have a lot of hair or you have very dry hair, I have three hairs, again, with the rant. But if you have a little bit of hair like me, the daily conditioner, the Miracle Daily Conditioner is awesome. You take the littlest, tiniest bit, I mean like the littlest, tiniest bit, and I just do this and this and this, kind of leave it there for a little bit and then just rinse it out, and my hair is super soft. So it gives me the effect of masking my hair, but it also doesn't coat the strands and make them waxy or heavy. If you guys have greasy hair, Trust me, you know the feeling of greasy, heavy, oily hair. Kind of like when you put on way too much lotion and you have thin hair like me. Let me know if you're on the same boat. I have very thin hair. And if I put on too much body lotion and I'm wearing like a tank top or something, if that lotion gets in my hair, my hair's done. 
Like my hair is greasy, oily, it sticks together, it looks greasy, it looks horrible. There's very few products that can touch my hair without making it look stuck together, waxy, like with residue or oily. It's really, really tricky. So these, you guys, are safe products. Now, you're probably wondering, like, okay, well, Danny, on those days where you're like, whoa, lady, your hair is nasty, disgusting, and you just took a shower, what do you do? Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This stuff is awesome. It smells delicious. It doesn't do buildup. I believe it has rice starch, but let me, yeah, rice starch. There are some dry shampoos that don't use rice starch. If you guys have three hairs like me, you need the finest of the finest powder. I don't mean fine like, you know, Egyptian royalty. No, I mean fine like very, very soft powdery like microscopic grains fine. So rice starch is your best friend. I have dark hair. This is white. It doesn't leave a white cast. I'm wearing it today. I washed my hair this morning, but I know that halfway through the day, I'm already going to start getting the clumping together. So this stuff is amazing. It smells really good. It works. It doesn't do build up. You know, sometimes when you do dry shampoo and you go like this, you get like the white crust. It doesn't do that. And I use this which is another must have. This is a stipple brush from Real Techniques. I spray my hair, I go do my makeup, I do whatever I need to do, and then later I just come back and I do this, and I disperse it, because I don't wanna to touch my hair. All those oils on your fingertips, all that stuff from like the lotion that you put on, whatever, you guys, we have three hairs. We gotta be like prepared and aware and not do ourselves a disservice. So the least amount of times that you can touch your hair, the better. So there's that. And then you're saying, Danny, when you want sexy hair like this one, that's like, oh man, it's still soft and touchable, but it has sexy little waves. Like what is this messiness going on? You gotta get yourself a texture spray. And let me tell you how many texture sprays I have returned or thrown away. Beach sprays, uh, flip arounds or upsy daisies or I don't remember the name of that flip me over there's like this really popular brand that the the spray is like spray wax like literally it co connects my hair together and it turns it into like one one hair like one strand it's horrendous it's heavy it's sticky so many texturizing sprays that all they do is ruin my clean hair I found our answer you guys no need to send me thank you cards, but the Amica Undone Texture Spray is the best texturizing spray for people with thin hair. Thin hair, little bit of hair, two hairs, okay? If you have thick hair, if you have texture in your hair, if you have a lot of hair, this probably won't work for you because it's too it's too lightweight. It's not like, it's not the big guns. This is for people that have like three hairs like I do. Okay, so it's gonna leave your hair smelling good. A lot of people complain about the smell like, oh, it's too strong. It doesn't, it doesn't linger. It's gonna leave your hair feeling soft. So I'm wearing it today. It's soft, it's touchable. Do you guys see that? But it gives my, it gives my hair volume. So it leaves it soft, it's not sticky, it's not crunchy, it's not waxy, it doesn't weigh it down, it doesn't clump it together, and if you're like, you know what, I don't want this tousled look anymore, you can go and brush your hair, and you can brush it out. Have you guys noticed that when I'm passionate about something, I get like really excited and I yell at you guys? <laughs> so I really hope that one of you will find this video useful because I feel like here on YouTube, all we see are beautiful, like mermaid length hair and waves and beautiful curls and just, oh yeah, this is like my 27 day hair. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I need to even out the playing field. Not a lot of YouTubers have short hair. Not a lot of YouTubers have no hair. <laughs> Not a lot of YouTubers have the situation or maybe they do and they just don't talk about it because they use extensions or because whatever they use wigs some some youtubers even use wigs i i don't even have time to shower every day so for me it's got to be you know low maintenance and easy i'm all about that mommy thug life you guys so i need products like 
heat protectant that makes my hair feel soft and touchable and not weigh it down, or a texturizing spray that's gonna make me look like I actually put a little effort into the way I styled my three hairs. Like always, all of these products will be listed in the description box below, along with a 15% discount code off of this Briogeo product. Actually, I think it might be 15% off the website but I'm not sure. So make sure that you check the description box below. By the time you see this video, I will know for sure. But you guys, seriously, don't be lazy and don't skip using a heat protectant because if you guys have three hairs like me and you don't use a heat protectant, you may end up with just one. So all these products will be listed in the description box below. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too ranty for some of you guys, but if you guys, really? You guys, if you guys are on the same boat as me, you wanna say hi? Oh, speaking of hair, speaking of hair, can we talk about this luscious hair? Look at this. Oh yes, look at this luscious hair. Say hi. Say look at my, this is my natural curl pattern. This is my natural curl pattern. My name's Sophia and this is all natural. The hair color and the texture and everything. Oh, you don't like, she don't like it. She doesn't like us talking about her texture and her hair and her curl pattern, okay you guys? <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And like always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!